friends in this video we are going to solve a problem based on the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge or ac bridge so let's start with our problem so our problem is we are having an ac bridge circuit which is working at 1000 hertz and this circuit is shown to us in the figure and arm ab is having a 0.2 microfarads pure capacitance arm bc is a 500 ohm pure resistance arm cd is an unknown impedance and arm da has a 300 ohm resistance in parallel with a 0.1 microfarad capacitance now we have to find out the value of the unknown impedance which can be a resistance or it can be a capacitance or inductance and uh, using this AC bridge and we have to consider that arm CD is a series circuit okay so let's try to solve this problem here we are to consider an AC bridge circuit so let's draw an AC bridge circuit here okay now these are the four impedances we are given that ab is a pure capacitance so we can have here a pure capacitance connected then arm bc is a resistance so arm bc is a pure resistance here and arm cd is an unknown impedance which can be a resistance or c and l connected in series with the r and the arm um, da it is a resistance in parallel with a capacitor so we are having a resistance connected in parallel with a capacitor here okay now we know that for an general ac bridge we know that the balance equation is given by z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 the general balance equation is Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. Now using this balance equation, we are going to find out the value of the unknown impedance. Also, we are given that the sum of the phase angles theta1 plus theta4 is equals to theta2 plus theta3. Okay. So first we will write the value of all the impedances. Z1 is a pure capacitance. Here it is given that arm AB is a pure capacitance of the value 0.2 microfarad. So Z1 will be equal to Xc that is a capacitive reactance and the value of this is 1 upon 2 pi Fc or we can say C1. So it will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi f is the frequency and we are given that this ac bridge circuit is working at 1000 hertz of frequency so frequency is given to us in the question as 1000 hertz value of capacitor is also given 0.2 microfarad so 0.2 and microfarad so we have to convert it into farads so it will be 10 raised to the power minus 6 okay then we are going to solve this and we will get the value of Z1 as 800 ohms. Now since this is a pure capacitance, so we know that in the case of capacitance, the voltage it lags the current by 90 degree. The phase relationship between the current and the voltage across the capacitor is that voltage lags the current by 90 degree angle so if we talk about the phase the phase of this will be 800 and minus 90 degree because the voltage is lagging so we are having here minus 
of the 90 degrees okay if uh, in general way if we say for a capacitor we represent the reactance as xc and angle is minus 90 if we talk about inductor it is xl and the angle is 90 degree if we talk about resistance it is r and the angle is 0 degree okay so this concept should be clear to you in your mind and then you can easily uh, write the phase angles for all the three elements so this is z1 now z2 is a pure resistance in the question we are given that it is a pure resistance of 500 ohms so z2 will be equal to r or it is equal to 500 ohms and phase angle we know that across the resistance it is zero degree so we will write angle as zero degree here so this is the value of z2 next comes the z3 which is so z3 will be equal to because it's a parallel combination of a resistance and a capacitor so z3 will be equal to r3 and parallel combination of xc3 now xc is what 1 upon j omega c3 so we are going to put we are going to solve this parallel combination and through this we will get r3 upon 1 plus j omega c3 r3 how we are getting this let's take a general form where we are having a capacitor and a resistor this is c this is r and we want to find the equivalent impedance of it so 1 upon z will be equal to 1 by r plus 1 by xc 1 by z is equals to 1 by r and xc is what 1 upon j omega c so when we put its value it will be j omega c so 1 by z is equals to 1 by r or we can say 1 plus j omega c r upon r here it's reciprocal so z will be equal to r upon 1 plus j omega c r so this is how a parallel combination of a resistance and capacitance that can be solved so here we have just replaced the r by r3 and c by c3 okay so we have got the impedance z3 now putting the value of r3 and c3 in this r3 is the 300 ohm resistance and c3 is the 0.1 microfarad capacitance so it will be z3 is equals to r3 is 300 ohms upon 1 plus j and we are having omega omega is what 2 pi f omega is 2 pi f so we know 2 pi and f is what 1000 hertz given to us in the question then we are having c3 c3 is 0 0.1 microfarad so 0 0.1 micro is converted into farad so multiplied with 10 raised to the power minus 6 and then we are having r3 again so it is multiplied with 300 so when we solve this because here we are having a j term so with through with the help of calculator we are going to solve this and we will get 294.8 minus j 55.4 okay how we solve a complex number now when we uh, get the magnitude and phase angle of this complex number so z3 will be equal to 300 and phase angle comes out to be minus 10.6 degree this calculations can this calculation can be done with the help of the calculator so we are going to get z3 as 300 and the phase angle is minus 10.6 then we will use the balance equation for the ac bridge general balance equation as z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 okay so z1 is 
we want to find out our unknown impedance z4 so z4 is equals to z2 z3 upon z1 putting the values of for all the impedances z2 we got as 500 ohms z3 we got it as 300 ohms and z1 we got it as z1 was our impedance 800 ohms so we have got the value of z4 as this was 5 so this will be 1500 divided by 8 and we will get the value of z4 as 187.5 so this was only the magnitude value we have got for the phase we will use the equation theta 1 plus theta 4 is equals to theta 2 plus theta 3 so if we want theta 4 it will be equal to theta 2 plus theta 3 minus theta 1 okay now theta 2 we have got as theta 2 was minus 10.6 theta 3 was 0 degrees and theta 1 was minus 90 degrees so minus of minus 90 degrees so we will get minus 10.6 and plus 90 degree so our angle will be 78.4 degrees so the value of z4 is 187.5 the magnitude and phase angle is 78.4 degrees now uh, we know that when we are getting a positive phase angle it means that it's an inductor and a resistance because in the question we are given that we have to find the value of the unknown impedance which is a resistance and whether an inductor either an inductor or a capacitor now here because we are getting a positive angle so the one of the uh, it will be an inductor and a resistance which are connected in series with each other because we have to consider it as a series circuit it is given to us in the question so now we will calculate the value of x4 and r4 and l4 because z4 is the combination of r4 plus x4 or we can say it is a combination of r4 plus j omega l4 okay so r4 will be the sine component and x4 will be the cos component so magnitude will be the same that is 187.5 for both the resistance and the uh, re inductive reactance 187.5 but only the sign and the cos components they will be changed so because resistance it is the sine theta so theta is what 78.4 degrees and uh, the inductance means the inductive reactance so it will be cos 78.4 degrees now we know that the x4 is equals to j omega l4 so L4 will be equal to X4 divided by J omega is what? 2 pi F. So we are going to calculate L4 by X4 that is 187.5 and this cos 78.4 degrees divided by J into 2 pi that is 2 pi into f is what 1000 okay 1000 hertz so we will get the value of the inductance as 29.2 milli henrys so we have calculated the 
Z4 which is the combination series combination of the resistance and the inductor. Here we have calculated X4 which is J omega L4 that is the inductive reactance is equal to J omega the inductance of the element. So this is how we can calculate the value of the unknown impedance using the balance equation of general balance equation of an alternating current bridge that is Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. So any problems where we have to find out an unknown impedance, we are going to use this balance equation. We are going to uh, put the values of all the known impedances and then we can easily find out the unknown impedance through it. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.